All right. So, uh, lesson six, seven, solving proportions. We're going to take this, t- uh, the ratios to another step. But before we do that, uh, the kickoff here. So, Rona drew a scale drawing of a city. She used a scale of one inch to five yards. So, one inch over five yards. It's going to be your scale. So, it's always drawing over the actual. And then we always simplify the scale down. Now, in the drawing, the neighborhood park is 16 inches wide. So that's going to go on top. And we're looking for the bottom here. So what is the width of the actual park? So think for every inch is 5 yards. So we're going to multiply 16 by 5 and get 80 yards. All right. Now, what we're setting up here is going to be a proportion. Now, the only difference is... A proportion is an equation that shows two ratios all equivalent. So to make this a proportion, we put an equal sign in the, in the middle. Now instead of a question mark, we'll put a, a variable, but we're trying to show that, hey, these two are going to be equal. And so we're going to like two over three, four over six, same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the cross product property, which is that the cross product of a proportion are going to be equal. So in that example, if we take this cross and take 2 times 6, that would be 12, as well as going the other way, where we do 3 times 4, which is also 12. So the crosses are going to be the same. So how this would work if I use, say, that top one is, if we have 1 inch over 5 yards, and we know that has to be equal to 16 inches over something, if we cross these two, these two would have to be the same. So 1 times x, x. It would have to be the same as 5 times 16, which is 80, is how we kind of do this. So if you think about it, you're going to times these two. Now, if this is something other than 1, you divide that out. So it'll work something like this. So in this proportion, if we do this, 5 times Q would be this cross. The other cross, 1 times 50, so equals 50, 5Q equals 50. So how much would each Q be? Well, if we divided by 5, we'd get down to Q. So if we divide this side by 5, we'd get Q equals 10. So in other words, you're going to do 1 times 5 for the cross and then divide by the one that's opposite of the letter. So 1 times 5 is 50, divided by 5 gives us 10. So same sort of idea here. So this cross, this cross, 49 times 20. Now, I don't know that off the top of my head. Uh, if I get back to here. So 49 times 20 is 980. So think this cross gives us 980. This cross would be 35N. So again, we would divide them by 35. And so N equals 28. That's how it's going to roll. So, next problem here. Again, if I just simply times this cross and divide this cross, you're going to get the same thing. So, 936 times 27 and then divide by the 78. So, 936 times the 27, the two numbers that are crossing each other multiply, divide by what's across from the Z. So divide by 78, and so Z would equal 324. Okay. So, last problem. Again, two numbers are across from each other. 2.4 times 18. Divide by the one across from the W. So divide by 16. So W would equal 2.7. So proportions, two ratios that we're going to say equal each other. Now we're going to use them as fractions, but they're a ratio. So times the two that are across, the two numbers across from each other, and that X. So this one here would be times. This one here would divide. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, 
You can always pan me, email me, send me a message on Google Classroom. Otherwise, until next time, we'll talk to you later.